again. Hello, guys and girls. Uh, thank you for tuning back in. Today, we're going to look at Twitter, what they have said for the past few days. Last time, I had a 10 or was it 12 day a gap where I didn't uh, from video to video. So I think that's a bit too long because some of the charts might be outdated. Uh, so this is like three days old, two days old. Um, but but there's definitely some good charts to look at. Also, if you like what I do, subscribe. It's highly appreciated. And always leave a comment if we have uh, something good, something bad. It's a, it's a free world, so you can say whatever you want. But uh, let me know. I will happily answer most likely anything you'll 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 question. So let's uh, let's see. Okay, diving straight into the fun stuff here. Uh, this Axel Kaiba weekly scale price of Bitcoin from Coinbase. Uh, this is the inverted head and shoulders that we've been looking at many times on the chart as well. Yesterday, big breakdown, 10% uh, drop, I think, roughly, give or take. And now we're back at the 25K level, which is very, very important to hold. If we don't hold, look out below. But there is on the lock scale, this is lock scale, there is a trend line coming up here, which broke yesterday, which we also, uh, I covered also as well on Twitter, but also on YouTube. Um, so yeah, 25k level for the bitcoins is important. Same guy here again, Axel. Um, this is the European stocks. Uh, the stocks 50. You can see here clearly at big support. We have the, what's that? What weekly is that? The 200 day average. You can see coming up here, triple support. We have broken down, however, however, from this long term blue uptrend line here. So the, uh, we need to hold and we cannot definitely not take out the 200 moving average to the downside. That would be very bad. Similar to over here, you can see it, we broke down here from the triple bottom and uh, that was a uh, not so funny period for the bull, for the bulls, for the bulls. Irene, well, it's not Irene, it's actually Ronnie Stoffele. Uh, great guy as well. He knows a lot of stuff about gold and silver. Uh, there it is. Great chart by some guy I don't know. <laughs> the market is pricing in a no recession scenario and I found that surprising but as you can see right now we're following all the the SPX I think it is yeah the SPX is following the started line which is a no recession uh, mm, uh, approximation uh, or estimation line and the recession is the, is the green one so that this one I found very interesting to see that do we really have a no recession in in the future maybe maybe not uh, there are definitely some pros and cons. Uh, I'm in the in the in the con camp. Uh, I think we are in for a deeper correction. But again, what do I know? What do I know? My good man Grady here. Wheat. We don't look at wheat that often. Uh, sometimes I think I had it in some of the recaps like a month or two ago. This is the long term chart. You can see it's a 50 year long chart of wheat. And again, I, I also made some some charting and I think we will go a bit lower first, but still the, the take are similar. I think also think we're going way higher for wheat. As you can see, wheat hasn't has basically been, you know, around the 300 average dollar um, for the past 50 years. And given the time we're in, you know, I think wheat will go much higher as well. Um, but it, it's a different, it's a difficult chart to, to, to try to, to see where, when we're going. But uh, but this was definitely a double top. <clears throat> and now we are getting into the curve here of this uh, of this line. So we could see a, we could see a bottom here um, for wheat. Um, so yeah, again, this will, will also ensure that your uh, bread and uh, and so on in the in the grocery store will get a lot more expensive. Patrick Kahim, uh, a great chart by Patrick here. Really, really great chart. Um, Sometimes he has some gems uh, um, of what he's posting. This one is, is a very, very nice one. This is gold on a three monthly closing basis. Big inverted head and shoulders right here. We broke it, and then became the uptrend. And now we're in this a bullish trend, expanding formation here, expanding megaphone, depending on what you want to call it. And you can see if this is the trigger or the path to, to follow, then we are turning up here very, very soon. Also did some gold charting today and yesterday. It looks like we could be heading high. We are in a big falling wedge right now, trying to break to the upside. Um, so yeah, this is an interesting take. Great chart by Patrick. 
he does what he's good at. So here we have Haas. Again, this is the bear camp uh, for the overall market. This is the US 500 companies. And this is the classic, you know, this, um, we have the big drop and then we have uh, a major bull trap and then we go in for big correction. Uh, will it get that low? I have absolutely no idea, but I'm just going to show you a different scenario, which is very likely. Also, um, where we are in for a big, you know, one to five correction all the way down. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that will, will be very nasty. And the wave two, as you mentioned, mentions is the big ones. Most, most likely they are often the longest ones. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the take on, on the overall U S stock market game of trades here. Uh, what does he say? Domestic banks have rapidly tightened lending conditions, making it, making it harder for business to access credit. Current level have uh, systematically anticipated recessions uh, the past three times. You can see the in the in the nineties and the the dot com bubble and the global financial crisis, and we are back again here. This was obviously a a blip, you can say, because they uh, they avoided the the big or they pushed the big recession into the future by printing a heck of a lot of monies. And uh, yeah, we're back at those levels again. So will we get that big drop that Haas just mentioned very shortly? Could very well be. It could very well be. This one is actually a chart that I found. This is probably the best chart I've seen or the, the analysis of it I've seen in a very, very long time by Bob Coleman. Uh, I will now compare the 2008 chart uh, to the 2023 chart side by side. Look at the similarities or fractal between these charts. I also uh, inserted Silver's chart from 2008 to 11 to show the potential move that may be coming for the fractal or the repeating pattern comes to fruition, if the repeating pattern comes to fruition. This is Silver back in 2008. I don't know if I can zoom in. Ah, I can do it to some degree, but it doesn't work that, that well. But clearly, in my view, you can see the exact same setup, more or less, of course, you know, but still the fractal is the same. And if it if it is correct, then we are right here. Right here, as you can see there, the big pullback, the big W uh, with the higher right side of the W. Or the, um, so this is a great chart. I, I, I love it. If this comes uh, moves to the upside, I would say this is one, probably the best chart I've seen all year. Um, by Bob Coleman. Um, he also has a lot of other stuff down here that I will not go into into the, uh, into detail, but still this amazing find. And uh, this is, when I see stuff like this, that gets me happy. Right or wrong, it doesn't matter, but finding a fractal that is this precise, that's uh, very exciting, especially since we are, you know, a gold and silver bull for, the, for this decade. So uh, amazing chart. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me zoom out here a bit again. There it is. <laughs> I find this one funny. You know, going to the toilet takes five minutes, but if you have Twitter, it's almost an hour. I love that one. That's funny. It's funny. Grady again. The breakdown from this uh, 13, 15 uh, year old bearish wedge is just another brick in the bullish, glorious commodities wall. I agree. Now back testing. So, what he has here is the SPX divided by the user, the US. Uh, um, uh, producer price index and as we saw in 2008 and in the 2000s when the SPX started to break down against the, 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 the PPI that's where you see gold and silver commodities overall platinum and so on really shine um, and you can see here we have broken down and now we are back testing the wedge here uh, these are monthly candles so it doesn't happen tomorrow but uh, if we start to curl down here again gold and silver platinum all that good stuff will do very, very well. Sahara here with a long-term gold projection. Um, uh, again, he, he's a great guy. He does some some very different analysis that, that I like to look at. Um, it's a different take, but uh, but I agree with him. You know, the big cup and handle for gold. And he has some targets here. I don't know exactly how he gets, he gets them. It might be some sort of FIP. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe he, if he sees this, he can, he can make a reply. Uh, but yeah, again, 6K, he also has 18K. That's a high number, but still, uh, I have the 7, 8K, 9K, 10K maybe. Um, but yeah, we're on, this, we're on the same boat, I think, here, uh, going way higher for gold. Just need some patience. Yeah, I know you heard it many times before, but still, 
it is what it is. Last one, again, Grady. A lot of Grady. Uh, again, as you know, I like the guy. He's uh, he's very good. Here we have the second inflation wave is coming, is starting soon. This chart shows lumber backtesting support a third time as expected, this time with increased volatility. This is lumber going back 15 years, hitting the long term of trend blue here, and we will. Nah, nothing is certain. With a very high percentage chance, you get a big bounce here for lumber, meaning high inflation. Um, so yeah, again, commodities, commodities, commodities is a good thing. Um, he also has the MACD here, which is turning up here. You can see, but still, I don't use the MACD that often. Uh, it can be a great tool to just have uh, some extra bias or extra confirmation in your uh, in your decisions. But still, I like to look at, to look at price actions, trend lines horizontal levels um, and then of course RSI, RSI just to to add uh, some spices to it anyways that was all the charts that I had for today I hope you like it that I did it uh, like three days after the last one just to uh, to have a more updated one because if I did this one in, in like a week or so then obviously the Bitcoin chart will, will be very much outdated so so yeah that is what it is guys as always please follow highly appreciate it if you like what you see, give me a comment, uh, good or bad, as you know, I will take it all. Bye.